Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while. I have really missed you guys. There's been a lot going on in the background as far as like my life, uh, my kids. My health is good. I'm still the same consistency with my health. Thank God everything is well. My kids are well. My husband's well. It's just been a lot of family things going on in the background that I'd rather deal with. Um, And obviously family comes first. And you guys know I just do this for fun. So I actually have a haul for you guys. I have a bunch of products that I have actually hauled over the past few maybe like I, I don't think not for like a month <laughs> so i did haul a couple of products i'll talk with you guys about those products i'll update you guys on some of the products that i know i haven't talked about without further ado let's get into the video all right so as i mentioned um i guess it's just kind of like uh keeping up with me getting ready with me as well as like showing you guys a haul mainly a haul because i don't really want to do my makeup on camera today i'm kind of just like you know rolling with it so i have a couple of products that i hauled i have some sephora products i have some ulta products um i kind of been dabbling into the holiday parts of you know some of the products and also a color pop order that i placed because it is almost well now we're in november so we did um i'm gonna update you guys on some products that i picked up for the month of october so I guess we'll start with my Sephora order, which the very first thing that I actually received, um, which was a present from my husband, is the Natasha Derua Retro Palette. I know this is a little bit of like a inevitable. I was going to pick, pick this up as soon as I saw it. So I did get this gifted. My birthday was in October on the 28th. So I did celebrate my birthday. I turned 29. Um, and I actually received this as a birthday present. So this is what the palette looks like up close so you guys can kind of see the colors it's very pretty very mauvey very retro obviously with the colors uh if you guys look up retro colors you guys will see that this is very much in, in, in line with those i really am happy to play with this i have seen a bunch of reviews i've seen the people do their makeup with it and i'm really excited to play with it so that was the first thing that i received i also did go ahead and place an order on the rowan website because i have been wanting wanting obsessing over the 11 11 palette i do have the sorry about all the noise um i have the original like the regular uh 52 degrees which is a cool tone palette from rowan this is what this one looks like very much loved for me it's actually currently in my drawer because i've been using it a lot but i finally purchased the 11 11 rowan quad it comes with four shades and i'm really excited basically the same exact packaging comes with a sleeve it comes with obviously the gray uh packaging but when you open it up it is much different than the cool tone one it's a little bit more warm has that little more sparkle um i have been already using this one because i am obsessing over it to be honest i prefer this one over the cool tone one but i do like the cool tone one especially now that the holidays are coming up i know i'm going to be using it a lot but i'm really excited that i picked this up i'll go ahead and show you my favorite shade in this palette it's actually this one and you guys have probably already realized that this is kind of like my favorite shade a lot of the times it's a taupey gray um similar to what i think the color from uh oyster pearl from charlotte tilbury would be i do have a mini i'm sorry no a uh i do have a single shadow from I want to say the drugstore that has a very similar finish um, and I think it's a very good dupe for it as well. But yeah, I picked that up as well. I picked it up on the Rowan website. Um, I actually got it on sale because they did have a sale. So that was really good. Finally picked that up. All right. So moving along here, I also did go ahead and go in store and I picked up again. Like I said, my birthday came up. I picked up my little birthday um my little birthday present from Sephora and it was this little duo it's the NARS Laguna Beauty Insider birthday duo and I did come with a little um cute little tiny um NARS this is like a let's see what is this called this is the afternoon lip balm and this is actually the shade of it it's actually pretty neutral it's not really much color there's a tiny bit of bronze in there but it's really cute. It's really small. I have used it on my lips and I do really like how it feels on my lips. The reason that I am going to go ahead and purchase probably here coming up on the VIB sale uh, full size of the lip balms. I want to try a couple new ones. So I'm going to probably purchase some here soon. But I got this one. And then I also received a mini of the NARS um, Laguna Bronzer. But I for some reason cannot... Oh, here it is. Okay, so it came wrapped in this little um, black tissue paper. This is a little mini of the NARS Laguna bronzer. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you. It's kind of like the size of what their single shadows are usually like, uh, but I'm excited to play with this color actually. I haven't really tried the Laguna shade in a while. I have the Sun Diffuse one, which I do like, but I'm excited to use this one and try it out. I probably will be doing like a little get ready with me full face of minis because I do have a bunch of minis um, from, you know, uh, samples, things like that. So I have that one. I also uh, picked up a, uh, it was like a holiday set or kit. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. This is the Danessa Myricks uh, Beauty Rose Dream Trio. It says liquid pigment, eye, lip, and cheek. So you can kind of use it uh, multiple ways. Sorry, my blinding of the lights, my ring lights blinding you guys. This is the three shadows that came with it. I did swatch this one in store, which is Ballerina, and it's really beautiful. I also have this shade here in Latte and the Clear Glaze Color, color Fix. And I know these are multiple use. I actually believe... I have seen a video of, um, what's her name? I've seen a video of, uh, Jessica Braun trying these out, and I really like how they look. I'm gonna go ahead and open this with you guys since I'm already here and just kind of swatch them for you guys. Um, let's see here. It comes in this really pretty packaging, and this is a holiday set. It's considered like their holiday sets. It does come with a trio. It comes really nicely packaged. So the packaging of the clear one, oh my gosh, look at that. How pretty is that? This is obviously a clear. I'm not going to swatch this one. It's just a clear. It kind of makes your eye look shiny or your lips or your cheeks, whatever you'd like. Really pretty packaging. And this is the one in clear. Then I have the matte in the color Latte. And then obviously the shimmer in the shade Ballerina. And these all have really pretty tops. Really beautiful. I'll go ahead and swatch the shade in Ballerina for you guys. I'm really excited to play with these on my eyes. It's not very much. There we go. This is the shade Ballerina. Oh, it's really pretty. Okay, I'm excited to play with that, especially because the holidays are coming up. I love a little gloss, a little glossy moment. Really pretty shimmer. This is Ballerina. And then the matte in the shade Latte was also one that I did swatch in the store, and I really liked it, and I'm really happy it came in a trio. You can use it on your lips, you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it on your eye. Um, I know this has very multiple uses, um, and that's why she made these little color fix uh, tubes. She has a bunch of different colors. If you go online, you can see multiples. But I really like the little fact that this trio has these colors in combination together. Because, they, you know, they're colors that you would probably use together. It kind of reminds me of the Retro Palette and, and, and a little bit similar as well. The color story. So, again, I'm really happy that I picked up this trio. And the trio was $30.00. Um, and I was going to pick up the Kosa's, uh, powder, but I picked this up instead because I figured, you know, I haven't really tried these and I've been wanting to play with them. So I'm really excited I picked these up finally. Really excited to play with them in a future video here for you guys and kind of let you guys know how I feel about this. But yeah, I picked this up for 30 bucks. I thought this was really, really cute and a really good, um, really good steal. So all right for sephora i also had some more samples when i placed my natasha on a retro palette order i have a blush in the shade i think it's orgasm yes orgasm you guys already know the cult's favorite orgasm blush i actually don't have this blush myself i had it in a trio but i got rid of it so i will go ahead and swatch it for you guys because i think i am going to keep this little mini this is the shade in orgasm it's just a really pretty pink shade a little bit of a shine it's just really pretty the natural light from my windows coming in because the sun came out so i apologize if the lighting changed but that's the orgasm blush and then i also received a mini of the patrick star one size uh brand this is the shade translucent so i actually do plan on using this i want to try it out and see maybe if i would be interested in picking up a full size i've heard really good things about his powder so that's also something that i've been kind of interested in um and that's everything basically that I've picked up from Sephora so far. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys uh, my ColourPop order because I want to show you my ColourPop order I placed around October. They had a new palette release uh, from Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus. I have a lot of Hocus Pocus things here. I have like the Funko Pops. I have the book. I have a bunch of pins. It actually, actually is like my number one favorite movie around the holidays. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the ColourPop order. That I so I did go ahead and place a ColourPop order. Um, I did go ahead and choose a couple of things because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there was a sale. Um, or I use some kind of discount code. I'm not 100% sure, but I did place my order. 
on the 20th and I received it I believe a couple of days after so about four or five days after these products do come from California and I do live in Illinois so it does take a little bit while to get, get to me but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the products that I picked up from my ColourPop order there is one lip product missing because it is actually my purse now yes I know okay um i picked up two of the fresh kiss lip creams the first one that i picked up was more of a nude shade i don't 100 percent remember the shade name but i'll go ahead and pull it put it somewhere in the screen down below so you guys can see it then i also picked up this fresh lip cream color in let's vogue it's just a really pretty red i thought it'd be really good for the holidays i do love the texture of this lip creams from color pop i will 100 percent recommend these um i know a lot of their older products like i have a lot of their lipsticks are no longer available but I do have uh, tried these, and I have, of course, like I said, one of them is currently living in my purse. It is a nude shade, of course. So this is the one that I picked up as well. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Again, this is in the shade Let's Vogue. Really pretty red tone. That'd be really good for the holidays. And the formulation for these is just so comfortable on the lips. Um, so that's the one that I picked up along with the other one. I also went ahead and picked up um, a... Mas uh, lengthening mascara. This is the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I was really interested in trying this uh, product out because I've heard really good things about their mascaras. Um, I did before previously try the Volumizing Original Black one, like the really big brush, but they just released this one. This is the Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and open it and look at the wand because I do have a bunch of mascaras that I'm rotating out because they're just old and they're drying out. This is the wand on the brush, really, or the wand on the product really pretty i'm excited to try this and see how i feel about it it does look like a more drying formula but i don't mind it so much because i actually enjoy mascaras that are a little bit more drier i've kind of noticed that myself because i have been using a lot of lengthening mascaras so i'm gonna go ahead and put that one back in here but that's also one that i picked up i picked up the orchid you not palette this is a nine pan palette from ColourPop. I just couldn't. You guys know I love purples and pinks and it's just right up my alley. So I did go ahead and pick this up and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on camera here what it looks like. I just thought it was really pretty. I couldn't pass it up and I do miss my It's My Pleasure palette. So I figured this would be the next best thing. Um, it is really pretty. This is what the palette looks like itself. Really pretty mauves. It does kind of remind me of the one that it's currently my shot mustache. It's a little bit more red tone though. It's like more wine color. This is more of an orchid purple color. So I'm really excited to play with these shades. And I can tell I'm going to love that shade and this shade right off the bat because I do see like a little bit of a like a shift of colors. And I really like those kinds of shades. But this is the Orchid Do Not palette from ColourPop that I picked up. Really excited to play with this one. Last but not least, the reason I placed this whole ColourPop order was because of the new Disney movie and ColourPop uh, Hocus Pocus palette. This is the Witching Hour palette. I did want the original, but I think when I went on the, online, it wasn't available. Um, I like the packaging. They did really beautiful packaging with this. This is the packaging itself. It does have like these like kind of like uh, they're more... They stand out a little bit more. They're squishy. So you have Sarah, uh, Winifred, and Mary Sa uh, Sanderson, the Sanderson sisters. Really pretty palette. I like the back. You can see all the shade names. They have like little cats on it. A little bit of a shimmer. It does have a mirror in it. So you can see everything there. You can see me. You can see uh, yourself when you use it. And I really like the shades they picked out for this palette. In particular, it reminds me of the Persona Identity palette that I had missed. Uh, oh, I decluttered because it was expired. Uh, but it kind of reminds me of that. I'm really excited that I have it now because uh, the color story is something that I love. I'm excited to play with this as well. I have used some of the orange because I did do like a very fall look for Halloween. And it just really worked out nicely. I love their Col uh, Color Pops formula. Really, really happy with this palette. So I'm excited to play with that one more. We're going to go ahead and talk about my Ulta order or Ulta shop shopping, uh, I guess, because I went into Ulta with my hubby um, and I actually picked out some products because like I said, it's been a while since I purchased any makeup. Uh, I've been off of YouTube for about... I want to say almost two months if I'm not mistaken. So I went into Ulta and I picked up some necessities as well as some like products that were holidays. So of course I ran out of my Make It Last Milani. This is like my second or third model this probably the past three months. So I picked up a new one. I love the Make It Last Matte version. I am more oily combination. I've been kind of more normal because of the hot, like, you know, it's getting colder out. 
but this is my like true go-to. I also picked up the CeraVe Wrinkling Essay Cleanser, which I have missed. and have it in a new bottle, which I'm surprised. When my husband saw this, he's like, you need this, don't you? You haven't seen this. And then this is specifically the SA Cleanser, the one that I do use constantly. I actually currently am using the Hydrating Cleanser from CeraVe because I couldn't find this one for a while, but I'm really happy that I found it. This is helps like... um with texture it helps me a lot with my texture i have had a couple breakouts and like a residue from just wearing a mask at work you guys know i work in healthcare so it's inevitable that i have to wear a mask all the time and this is just a really good cleanser i also picked out a i saw this in store they actually had the palette in store which i didn't think they would but i i haven't been really online much because of everything that's going on in my family life so I found out that they actually have this in store of the collection. And I ended up picking this shade out as if I need another neutral shade, which is besides the one living in my purse. Actually, let me tell you the one living in my purse, the name of it, because I have the paper here. So I picked up, obviously, the shade uh, Let's Vogue, but then the other one was Baby Doll. So that's the more, the um, other more neutral shade that I picked out is uh, Let's, uh, Baby Doll. So that's the lip cream that's living in my purse right now. But I also picked up this one at the Ulta store. And this is the Hocus Pocus Calming Circle Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. Very similar formulation to the other ones. It's a neutral, again. They did have one with, uh, with uh, Sarah Sanderson and I think Winifred as well. But I, this is the one that I picked up because I thought it was neutral. And obviously I love neutrals. Picked that up right away. I love the packaging. Really pretty packaging. Really Halloween. The whole natural light came in my room. So I really, I'm sorry if it's like super bright or whatever but i'm trying to work with it i just thought that was so cute they have like the little vacuum that she wrote off in, in the movie oh my god the packaging is really cute all right moving along with my um ulta haul i picked up a holiday set this is the tarte um best of blush amazonian clay cheek set there's already one missing because i did pull it out and i will say i remember having this shade myself but i think i decluttered it this is the shade in Exposed. It's a really neutral shade. I really love these Tarte blushes. I've used this at least three times now, and I'm really happy I picked this set up. It does come with a highlighter in the shade Fantasy. Then you have Charmed, Exposed, Captivating, and Delight. So you can kind of see the shades at the back of the packaging. And this is really, really nice. I thought it was like a really good gift uh, set if you want to like split them up. I thought that was a really good idea. But I, for myself, as a makeup lover, love these blushes from Tarte. And I decided to pick these up because it's just something that I do use a lot. I use a lot of blushes. And I've been finding myself using a lot of the same blushes. So I kind of want to try something new, something different colors. You know, um, I do have makeup palettes, like blush palettes. But I feel like I keep reaching for the same shade. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out for a while and see if uh, I find anything, like, you know, different. But, yeah, this is one set that I picked up from Ulta. Obviously, you can do it as a gift. Um, but I just picked it up for myself because you guys know I love makeup. So that's what I, I got. I also picked up a palette. That was the last thing in my haul from Ulta. This is the last thing of my haul in total. This is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. As if I needed another neutral palette, you guys, I've heard me say this over and over and over. I am a neutral lover. I love neutrals. And this is just something that I really found I was going to enjoy. Sorry, I'm just using some leftover witch hazel that I have here. Just to kind of get rid of residue from my hand. Um, because I want to swatch the palette for you guys. But yeah, as I was saying, I know I have purchased a lot of neutral palettes in the past. I will continue to purchase neutral palettes no matter what, because I feel like neutrals are just for everybody, and anybody can enjoy neutrals. Um, if neutrals are not your thing, that's okay too. But I picked this up, I just saw it in the store, and I was like, this is really pretty. I would be looking for an all matte neutral palette, but this does have some shimmers, and it does go pretty dark. So I usually have other neutral palettes that are pretty light, uh, like my Going Coconuts palettes I feel is pretty light. And I feel like you go from really light to really dark with this palette. So I really like this palette. I've already used it. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. I've already used it. My favorite shade already, I can tell you, is a birthday suit. Um, I actually used it on my birthday. But I really found this palette to be very useful and very easy to use and very blendable. And the shimmers are beautiful. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. It builds up really nicely. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with this palette. It is fabricated in China, so keep that in mind. Um, it is made in China, um, and, you know, it might not be as best quality as some of her other palettes. Like, I know her OG palette is not the same. I know the formulation has changed over the time with Morphe, but I really thought uh, I'd pick this up and try it again. Because I haven't tried Morphe formulation in a while since, like, probably last year. Around my birthday, I received a palette from family members from Morphe. But I do like Morphe, and I've talked about it in the past that I do 
you know, plan on purchasing, continue to purchase from them. I know they have a palette that's coming out or already came out um, with Mickey Mouse, so I'm excited to pick that up as well. I'm looking forward to that. But this is basically the palette I picked up. It's really pretty. I'll go ahead and switch some of these shades. I'll switch my favorite shade and birthday shade and then the Owl Lux, which is the first light shade. I really think these are really pretty, really blinding shades. Obviously, the lights helps. The lights help. But um, if I went ahead and went up close, you can see how shimmery they are. I'll go ahead and do the deep shade and expose because it's another one that I was really looking forward to um, using. This is just really pretty. Um, and I do plan on doing a getting ready with me talking about showing you guys these products and, you know, using them in my face because it is something that I want to do. But yeah, this is basically um, all of my haul. This is the palette that I hauled. I will go ahead and swatch for you guys some of the mattes since I will go ahead and, you know, show you guys. Obviously, you guys know switch swatching doesn't portray or doesn't show really how the shadows work. But I want to show you these shadows because they are really nice. I think Morphe does a really good job. It, they do have hits and misses, but for, for this palette in particular, I think it's really good. They're really buttery and really smooth, easy to blend. I haven't had any issues with packing or any issues with patchiness, so really happy with this palette. And again, this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals palette. Really pretty packaging as well. I really like it. It reminds me of the Coffee Latte palette from Domini Cosmetics that I actually didn't pick up, but I just thought it was really pretty. Yeah, with that, that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I am sorry I've been MIA, <laughs> missing in action. I've been gone. I've been focusing on family, um, obviously, and, you know, doing my own thing. Work has been really hectic as well. We've been really busy. I've been picking up nonstop doubles because we're so short-staffed, and I feel bad for my coworkers sometimes um, when they have to work alone, which we get along well, so... Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned for Get Ready With Me because I probably will be doing that next. And you guys have a good day night wherever you guys are whenever you see this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.